Hey guys, I'm Taylor. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I'm a full-time resident physician and a part-time clothing reseller. I sell on Poshmark primarily. I also sell on eBay, Mercari, and ThreadUp as well. Today, I'm going to have two different uh, hauls to show you. One is going to be from a local consignment store um, called Uptown Cheapskate. Actually, I think it is a chain, kind of like Plato's Closet, but that's that's the store. Anyway, they had their dollar day sale, and I'll kind of explain what that is when I get into the video. Um, my second video uh, will be one from the Goodwill Outlet, so my second ever trip to the Goodwill Outlet. So, first, I'm going to kind of get into the Uptown Cheapskate uh, thrift sale. So, how this was the dollar day so anything that was originally priced ten dollars um, would now be a dollar if it was originally priced from I think eleven to twenty dollars it was gonna be two dollars from twenty dollars or twenty one dollars to fifty dollars it's now five dollars and anything over fifty dollars will be ten dollars so I found some pretty good stuff uh, one item in particular was fantastic the rest were okay um so a lot of this i will be sending to thread up some of it i will be posting for myself so i've decided anything that i look up where the comps um the average solds of these items is over 25 dollars. i'll sell for myself on poshmark and you know my other platforms if it's not over 25 dollars, i'm just going to send it to thread up but anyway so i'm going to get into it now the first item is Daughters of Liberation size 2 and these are just some cute khaki shorts so these were originally $15.99 so that means they were $2 next are these linen Michael by Michael Kors shorts and they are a size 0 these were $11.99 so they were $2 as well they're just cute tan they have the Michael Kors logo on the back. So I'll probably be sending these to thread up as well. Next are these Ann Taylor Loft. These are so cute. These colorful, bright shorts. These were originally $6.99, so these were just a dollar. Next, I have some Hudson, which I think this is an old tag, but these are... Hudson shorts, kind of Bermuda shorts. They have the flat pockets and the the little flag logo on the back. These were $32.99, so that means they were $5, but I don't find Hudson a lot, so I kind of got excited when I saw the brand. And these are size 25. Next, I have some True Religion cut off. Bermuda kind of shorts as well. They got the flat pockets. These are, I think, a size 25, no, 26. And these were originally $29.99. Oops, sorry, $29.99. So that means that they were $5 as well. Next are these black, kind of faded. Madewell skinny pants. Here's the leg. No, no distressing or anything like that. Just kind of plain that faded black look. I think these are 25, but let me check. Yeah, these are size 25. Um, anyway, they're just cute. Skinny legs, Madewell jeans. Okay, next we have another pair of shorts. And these are also True Religion cut off shorts. These were originally $22.99, so that means they were $5, and these are $26 as well. If you hear my dog in the background, I'm sorry. Um, next, we have this cute um, blue and white buffalo plaid. Made well shirt. This is an extra small. Super cute for the fall. 
Oh, I didn't tell you how much this was. So this was marked $17.99 originally, so I got this for $2. Next is this classic North Face fleece pullover. This is a size extra small as well. This was originally $12.99, so I got it for $2. It's in great shape. Next is this BCBG Max Azria, and like I said in my last video, this does not sell well on Poshmark. But here's the tag, it's a size four, and it's just this cute, kind of textured, career style skirt. So this was originally $19.99, uh, so that means I got it for $2, and I'll be sending this, this one to thread up for sure. Next, we have this Akimi and Ken, and this is an anthropology brand. Sorry, can't get the tag to show you. Anyway, this is a size small, and it's just kind of this black or brown boho crochet kind of top. It's very cute. Perfect for the fall as well. Next, we have this. Will for free, which is an Aritzia brand, and it's a size extra small, and it's just this cute little black dress with a tie front. Um, this was originally $9.99, so I got this for a dollar. It's very soft. Next. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what this is. Oh, here it is. This is ASOS and it's actually as 20. So it's the plus size. It's just this cute. It looks to be new without tags. It's just this cute millennial pink kind of peplum top. Great size. I actually may keep that for myself. Maybe too big, but I'll try it. Um, next we have just this plain red and white striped long sleeve tee and it's from Madewell and it is size small. This was originally $9.99 so I got this for a dollar. Next we have this American Eagle Soft and Sexy which is my favorite line of American Eagle to sell or my favorite thing in American Eagle to sell and it's a size small. And it's just this graphic tee what does it say? I can give, get, crazy, love, naughty, a kiss, free hugs, peace, cheer. I don't know. But it was cute. And it was $8.99, so I got it for a dollar. But anyway, there it is. Next, we have this Altered State Size Medium. It's this green and navy blue kind of thick plaid button-up shirt also great for the fall next we have this nasty gal size us6 it's just this floral teeny tiny crop top but it's kind of a velvety material but it's very cute it was $6.99 originally. I got it for a dollar. Next, we have this Fabletics size medium. Just this black workout tee, long sleeve tee. And it's kind of got this crisscross, or, well, you know, this detail on the side. It's very cute. Oh, I paid. One dollar for it. Next, we have this Free People size small. It's like this purple patterned bodycon dress with ruching up the sides. It's got the half length sleeves. It's got a cut out detail in the back. Um, and I actually paid five dollars for this. It's very, very soft. Next, 
We have this north face, size small, plaid, button up. It's got the pearl snap buttons, which people look for when they're shopping. Uh, this was originally $13.99, so I got it for $2. Very cute colors. So I've got a lot of jeans coming up and they're all basically the same, but. First I've got this pair of True Religion. With the classic flat pockets. It's kind of a boot cut. Sorry if you can't see that. It is size 25. So this was originally $30, $29.99, so I got it for $5. Next, we have this, it's old tag, but it's page size 29. Just this cute denim skirt. Um, it was originally $20, so I got it for $2, or $19.99, so I got it for $2. Next, we have another pair of True Religion. This one is a skinny leg, and this is a size 25, so this was $27.99, so I got it for $5. We have another pair of True Religion. This one's got the really white embroidered kind of pockets, stand out. It's got the cuff hem. So this is a size 24 and I paid $5 for it as well. So a lot of true religion, which I know can kind of be hit or miss on Poshmark, but I don't know. I'll decide whether I want to sell it myself or send it to Thread Up. Next we have this Christian Siriano. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. New York. So it's not the four target line, which he has a, a line at Target, but this is a size medium. It's kind of this black layered sleeved dress. It has ribbing all through it. I think it'll look pretty when I get it on the mannequin or find a stock photo. Um, next, you guessed it, another pair of True Religion jeans, but these are the flare leg. I think it's called the Joey flare. Um, these are size 25. Uh, they also have some distressing along the front. Very cute. Um, these were originally $32.99, so I got them for $5 as well. Next, we have this just black mini dress, or maybe a tunic. I'm not sure. I think it's a mini dress, though. Um, BB Dakota size six. This brand is sold at Revolve. And this was originally $11.99, so I got it for $2. Actually, just kidding. That's a romper. It's not a dress or a tunic, so. Next, we have Puma, US size extra small. It's just this cute kind of black and white and cream zip up track jacket it was originally $9.99 so I got it for a dollar next we have this altered state size medium I think this is a swim cover-up that's the that's the front this is the oversized thin, kind of sheer, ribbed, boho looking something. It's either a shirt or a swim cover. I don't know. But anyway, it's new with tags. And I can look up the style on there and see what it is, but it doesn't say on the tag. Um, anyway, I got it for a dollar. So, so this one, um, my mom got for herself, but she did not like the way it fit. It's just this cute floral white and yellow dress it does not have a brand 
but it just says size large so I'm sure it's just one of these cheap kind of wish dresses but I just paid a dollar for it so I'll sell it for something but it's cute next we have this cute little jacket kind of a salmon color um, it's called hey hey so that's an anthropology brand size medium um, I paid five dollars for it but I just thought it was very cute and my camera's not actually showing the true color it's cuter in person so next I have this altered state size large it's this oversized now this is a tunic green and white lace tunic it's got the tie back with the keyhole detail um, so this was one dollar next this is probably something I'll send a thread up it's these just cute little floral black shorts and it's from Kimichi Kim, Kimichi I don't know how you say that blue anyway that's Urban Outfitters and it's size 2 I paid a dollar for them so just cute they have the tie front next we have this hot pink Lucy athletic popover there's the back um, it has a Lucy on the on the collar um, so I'll pay two dollars for this one as well next you know I talked about this in my last video cache this was an old mall store um, it went out of business but it still has a huge following so this is cache size 10 it's just this cute little zip up black cropped jacket. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. Um, I'm sure it's, I'm not doing it justice, but it'll look good when I get it on the mannequin. So next, this one was new with tags. That's basically why I got it. It's two by Vince Camuto. And it's just this like millennial pink or blush, whatever you wanna call it. Sorry, it's wrinkled, satiny, um, blouse. And it is a size medium uh, it was originally like the true retail price it was originally $90 and I got it for $2 so um, I'll probably send that one to thread up and also got these oral hmm, oral bar brown I don't know how to say that but it's made in Spain. It is a, a men's brand, so there's these blue espadrilles. I think they retail fairly high. They were actually asking $44.99 originally, but I just paid $5 for them. But they're in excellent shape. I don't know if they've ever been worn. So those were, those were kind of cool. Um, these are size 41. So I guess they could be either men or women. Um, but anyway... Let's see. Hold on. There's more. And then I gotta show you the best find of the day. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I had to dig these out of the stuff that I washed. They had some makeup spots on them. Um, so this is just this strapless eyelet lace white J. Crew dress size four. I already took the tags off, so I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it was just a dollar or two. Um, it had some stains around the neck, but I got them out. Makeup stains. Um, I also got this, and I have never heard of this brand, uh, Tracy Nagashian. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but size small. I just like the colors. It's blue and orange. Just this cute little dress. They actually retail pretty high, I believe. From their website I don't know where it's sold other than their website but um, it was very cute and then lastly the pride and joy of this trip so I know I paid five dollars for this and it is 
an opening ceremony navy blue windbreaker. It's just so cool. And let's see, the size is size mean or size small, I'm sorry. And I don't know if this is actually men's or women's. But anyway, I looked on their website and it's still currently for sale on their website for eight hundred and I think it was twenty dollars, eight hundred and twenty dollars. It was eight hundred and something dollars. So I paid five dollars for this. It's retail for over eight hundred dollars. It's still for sale on their website. So I'm gonna start this fairly high on Poshmark and see what I can get for it. But I was so excited to find that. They did not know what they had when they they priced that one, but Anyway, so that's my Uptown Cheapskate uh, haul to sell on Poshmark and uh, Mercari and eBay, and I'll send some to Thread Up as well. But if there's any that you're personally interested in, um, just comment down below. Tell me which item it is and what your closet name is, and I can tag you when it's ready on Poshmark, or we can figure something out. So just let me know if there's any of these items that you're interested in, and uh, we can go from there. But... Um, I want to stop this now. I want to start another video. This will be the Goodwill Outlet Haul. Um, I'll tell you all about that in just a minute, but I want to start this video. Thank you so much for watching and um, see you next time.